I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn steps to find square root of decimal numbers. We have similar related videos. We have taken up few examples with whole numbers and mixed numbers. Now in this particular case we have two examples. We will find square root of 0 0.8722 and square root of 0 0.925 without using a calculator. The first step here is that we have to group in twos away from decimal. That is to say, if we need to find square root of 0 0.8722 away from decimal, group of twos means if the number is on the right side of decimal, move right instead of twos. So that is first set of two, then we have the second set of two. Right, so that is the group. In this case, the grouping will be 0.92 will be treated as the first group and then 5, right? Uh, let me write down one more example where I'll have a mixture of, I mean, a number which is up to two or three decimal places. Let's say the number is 3, 2, 4, 0.3. Let's say that's the number. In this number, the grouping of twos will be done kind of like this. You have to go away from decimal in sets of two. So the grouping will be on this side, that is the first set, then just one number is left. On the right side of decimal, we could add as many number of zeros as possible. And then set of twos will bring down three zero. You understand? So that is kind of grouping which we need to do. So that is the first step. So grouping in sets of twos moving away from decimal that is in short the way now let's see the long division process which is specially adopted to find square root so what we do here is that let's let me show you so we have square root of 0 0.8722 to be calculated we have grouped it into sets of twos away from decimals that is this is my first group then the second group. Now we have to find a number which should be placed in these positions so that the same number comes and their product should be less than 0.87 rather 87 in this case. Since we have taken a number after decimal we'll put a decimal number here. So we have 0 point decimal something which we have to figure out. 9 times 9 is 81 so we can write 9 here and 9 in this position. 9 times 9 is 81 and then we will bring down the difference. 87 take away 81 is 6. Now bring down the second set of numbers which is 6 to 2 and we will again divide. Now when we do that we will do twice 9. 2 times 9 is 18 and now we have to figure out what number should come next. We have to put exactly the same number when we place the number on the quotient. As you can see, we should forget about decimal when we are doing the division part. But in the quotient, you should write down the decimal as soon as you bring down the set after the decimal. Now you could try this three times. If you put 4, 4 times 8 is 32 and 4 plus 3 is 7. So that will be bigger than 6, 2, 2. So 3 is the right number to place. So place 3 here. And now you multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 8, 24, 2. 3 times 1 is 3 and 2 is 5. And now you can take away getting some remainder. 12, take away 9 will be 3. 11 take away 4 will be 7. That is your remainder. But approximately you get an answer which is that the square root of 0 0.8722 is equal to 0 0.93. Right? The same method is adopted once again. This time the difference is that we have three numbers after decimal. As I wrote here, we could in this case write the number as 0 
9250, right? Let's group them. Grouping in twos, moving away from decimal. Is that okay? Like this. So that is the square root which we need to find. Uh, what number goes into 92? Well, this is also 9. 9 times 9 is 81. Now, since we have taken a set after the decimal, we need to place a decimal here and then 9. 9 times 9 is 81. And then find the difference. It is 1, 1 and bring down 5. Twice 9 is 18. Twice 9 is 18. So you put 18 here. Now, a word of caution. It is important to take two numbers on the right together. You have to make set of twos. Do not start with 3. Writing 3 times 3 as 9. Then, point 0.3 square is 0 0.09, not point 0.9. Remember that part, okay? So this is kind of very important to understand. Okay, now, what should come next? So you can figure out, you can try 5. So 5 times 8 will be kind of 40, get 4. And then on this side, you will get a number which is kind of smaller, right? So in this case, what should you do? You should try for a bigger number, right? So let's try 6. 6 times 8 is 48 and 6 and 1 that should go. So let's try 6. So we, we should bring two numbers. I just brought 5. I should write 5, 0 here. I'm sorry. You have to bring two numbers, right? So let's try 6. So we'll write 6 here. 6 times 6 is 36. So we get 6. 6 times 8, 48. 48 and 3. 51, 5, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, right? So now the remainder is 10 take away 6 is 4, and 4 take away 1 is 3. So 0 0.96 is the square root of 0 0.925, right? To two decimal places, 0 0.96, right? So this is the way you should do it. Now here is a practice question for you. So let's begin. So we have square root of 324.3. We could always place 0 to make it a set of two digits. Now in this case, pairing is done moving away from the decimal. So to the right, that's the pair. To the left, this and 3 is left alone. So the number which could go in 3 is 1. So we could do 1 times 1, which is 1. Remainder is 2. Bring down 24. Twice the number, which is 2. 1 times 2. And now we have to see what number will go into this. So we could try 8, for example. 8 times 8 is 64. 4. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 and 6 is exactly what we need, right? So we can try 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. 4. 6. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. Remainder is 0. You have to bring down... 3, 0 now. Since you brought a number after the decimal, you have to place a decimal point. And on dividing by twice this number, 2 times 18 is 36. We get 36 here. Now we have to figure out what number should come next. So this has to be 0. So we'll put 0 here. All right? And then we can actually bring two more zeros to continue. All right? So, but when you multiply by 2, you get, let me do it in two steps, okay? So, if you put 0, you get a 0 here, and then the difference is 33. Now, you can bring down two more zeros, correct? Thinking as if they are here, okay? And then, you have to divide by a number, which is twice 180. So, 
which is 360. Right? 360. You replace a number here so that it could be divided. Now, if I put 1 here, let us see, then we get 3601. 3601 is still bigger than this. So, we get another 0, kind of, right? So, the square root of this number is kind of 18.0. So, we could write this as square root of 324.30 is equal to 18.0. Okay. So, that is how you can group the numbers and find square root. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments. Thank you and all the best.